lady tastes defeat at the hands of Midnight Sunlight. Congratulations, Vic Hansen. I thought you would win this one. I didn't think you'd win the Northlands Futurity. They take down that near $60,000 purse on a Thursday night. That's pretty good. But they look to close out the night with a winner, I hope, as this 300-yard claimer landed on Vic Hansen for me. Non twos come out here for a price of $10,000 apiece. They go 300 yards in here. And right now, the favorite on the board is a tepid two to one. That's the six summon wins. I went the direction of the two, runaway with Cartel. Just broke his maiden in a pretty impressive fashion by a length over Brook Stream Girl and High Flying. Made a late move in that one. That was at 350. Now they cut back to 300. Don't know if that'll benefit Runaway with Cartel, but he sure does break fast. He did last time, and Runaway with Cartel just needs to duplicate that. He's behaving himself nicely down here. Vic Hansen looks to sweep the double. Frank is on this one. Doug Frank's been on this horse every time that he's run, and Runaway with Cartel put everything together last time. Maybe he can put two in a row. It's difficult to ask horses to put two in a row like this, but Runaway with Cartel is loaded with talent, and he's 5-2 to two on the board. The six is Summit wins. This should be your favorite as they head to the gate. Harris has put this horse on the track 11 times. Only one win to show for it. Three third place finishes. But Derek Bell, it's hotter than a pistol on these quarter horses. He doesn't ride many of them, but he gives them great rides. Summit wins is cutting back from 330 to 300 tonight. And last time Derek Bell rode this horse, he was only half a length short and then faded a little bit at the end. Serengeti and Flamboyant Jess beat this horse, but Flamboyant Jess did come back to win his next start. Broke out a little bit. There was some trouble for Summit wins. I didn't think that the filly had enough trouble to put her on top, but I put her in second. I thought she'd take a lot more money than this. She's only 2-1 to one on the board. Not too bad, but you're getting 7-1 to one on the third choice in here. Our Wrangling gal. This one's been off since last October for Tom Tarwater. He bred, owns, and trains this filly. And uh, she is one for 17 lifetimes. Six third place finishes to show for it. Has been tried at different distances, different tracks. A lot of them at Prairie Meadows, but Will Rogers is where she concludes most of her campaigns. Last time seen beaten two lengths at the $10,000 level. Beaten by a repeat winner, though. Our wrangling gal looks to get a fresh start here with a distance she likes. A first and a third out of her two tries at 300 yards have both yielded her good results. That one lifetime win came at the distance. I don't know if I would count on her to put them uh, back in the winner's circle. But 7-1 to one is good enough to take a gamble if you do like the five. I, however, went with Runaway with Cartel to put two in a row. And my 50-cent try went 2-6 with 2-6 with all. $5 for that. You don't have a ton of options here, though. Exact as tries and supers, and that's it for the ninth. That's all she wrote for Thursday. Ten minutes to post right now is the AT&T call to the post. Brings them out there. Thank you so much for joining me on Thursday, my birthday. Really appreciate it. Come out here tomorrow night. We got Minnesota's greatest happy hour going on Friday night, and then Saturday we'll bring you some stakes action, and we bring back the wiener dogs and the hot dog eating contest. A lot of fun this weekend. Come and join us. Thanks. They come onto the track for the ninth race, the final live race this evening. Here in the ninth race, number three, Courtney, Kansas, is ridden by Stormy Smith. Seven minutes. A final reminder, ladies and gentlemen, with 4th of July racing canceled yesterday, we invite you to come to the racetrack Saturday at 1.30 for all of the 4th of July festivities. Free Hormel hot dogs for everybody Saturday at 1.30, as many as you want, along with a wiener dog championship, a hot dog eating contest, and much more for the kids. Make plans to join us at Canterbury Saturday at 1.30 as we will re-engage with the 4th of July festivities. We also have an outstanding 12-race program Saturday, 1.30. They're in the gate. It's the Gino from TVG Classic. And there they go in the Gino. Run away with Cartel on the white horse bypass here. Courtney Kansas is racing erratically. Summit wins on the outside is surging with reckless intent. All chasing. Run away with Cartel, but not catching. Run away with Cartel in time.
time, 15.74 by number two, Runaway with Cartel. Second was the three, two, three in a photo, and one, five, seven, four, Audemars. Two three seven six in the books. It's official. Six forty for a two dollar win wager on Runaway with Cartel. The five two double thirty eight fifty from the winner of the Northland Futurity. The race nine one dollar exact to pay twenty five dollars forty cents. The trifecta paid ninety two dollars ten cents. The one dollar superfecta two thirty four thirty, and the final pick three tonight two five two paid one twenty four fifty. Live racing tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Live music on the grandstand apron. Food and beverage specials via Minnesota's Best Happy Hour. Racehorse Radio on AM 1130, KFAN at 630. Preps you on the Friday card. That is a weekly radio show on the fan, KFAN at 630, Racehorse Radio. Saturday, free Hormel hot dogs for everybody with a wiener dog championship race a hot dog eating contest, and Pepsi Family Day activities for the kids. That's Saturday at 1.30. No live racing this Sunday at Canterbury. No live racing this Sunday. Walking up to the Mystic Lake Winter Circle, runaway with cartel and winning jockey Doug Frank. Runaway with cartel is owned by Brenda Riswig and trained by Bick Hansen. They sweep that late double. Runaway with cartel is a three-year-old Greg Elding by Ocean Runaway. Out of Catalina Cartel, bred in North Dakota. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, racing tomorrow night at 7. If you're interested, stop by the Canterbury Park Card Club and Casino Games Room. We are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 